Good guys, my name is Lord Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog tour. I'm collecting for you. you know I'm Lord Tomo with the good old blue stair, Sonic the Hedgehog. He is no longer French. For now, let us bring out truly the one ultimate life form. Dan, 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 dan. <laughs> he thought he was Shadow, wasn't it? <laughs> Arguably, I'll probably say this guy is truly the ultimate life form. Seeing that when he first appeared in Sonic the Hedgehog, a tool. You could not kill him no matter how many times you threw him over the edge, drowned him and stabbed him. He would always fly back into existence like the demonic Tails that he is. <laughs> this is Tails, the 25th anniversary, okay, Tails, the 25th anniversary 8 inch plush. Haha. -ha. Now, I have reviewed uh, two of the ones already. I reviewed uh, Knuckles and I reviewed Sonic, so check out my channels if you want to see those reviews. But this is the Towers version of the anniversary set. Now, in the set, for now, I'm hoping it's probably for now, I don't know if it's going to be in the future, but I'm pretty sure it's just for now. You have, of course, uh, Sonic, Towers, Knuckles, and Dr. Eggman. So, we'll get to Dr. Eggman after this. Of course, that is what I do. So, this is Tails. Now, what made this uh, ranging particularly interesting is they uh, they changed it a bit um, to make it more, I guess, unique for the specific birthday period, which is obviously this year. Every alliteration, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Dr. Robotnik have their actual casting or their, their the materials used for their actual plush design to be very sparkly, very shiny, very... Um, I'll probably say I'll stick with those sparkly and shiny uh, that's that's the only way to this day I don't know what the material they've actually used um, it's some some sort of flossing of sorts I don't know like I said I'm not 100% sure on you know the full craftsmanship of these plushes designs all I know is what I can see and my general overviews on these sort of things which I think is absolutely phenomenal so I'm going to say this straight out of the bat, this series is one of my favourites amongst others. There are certain ranges of the plush lines I'm not a big fan of, but this one in particular I'm a fan of. For one simple fact, they're unique. And that's always been important for me whenever I'm collecting any Sonic related plushes. I want uniqueness. Uniqueness is pretty much what what pretty much stands out for anything for me. I don't like the same Sonic, for example, just in different sizes throughout the generation. Like, who really cares? Like, on my actual show if it's gonna look a bit off I like variation so enough chitty chatter let's get down to the nitty-gritty my pros my cons my hiccups my likes my dislikes and all that fun stuff that normally comes with it so the bat, uh, the actual manufacturer itself is Tommy uh, or Tommy depending on <laughs> where you're from in the world and you get a little hashtag at the very top part of his ear which is connected and it's pretty much just a silver plate not actually silver plate but a silver cardboard and it's got a sticker off the 25th anniversary Sonic the Hedgehog which is very reflective which I absolutely love and you have the word towels and if you open it up you have of course a picture of towels there very happy very adorable and you have his name there which is phenomenal and at the very top just obligatory information not really needed if you want to read it uh, I don't know why you would but yeah so the actual tag itself is awesome what I don't like about it is the fact that it's very intrusive in the actual overall sta um, standing of the actual plush itself by that I mean is I'd rather this to be on its little hashtag on the side um, away from the actual plush itself from a collector's point of view the fact that it's constantly in its, um, in its face especially when it comes to posing not posing but like displaying it's just very intrusive I don't like that I would have if they're gonna do that I would have them I would have loved it if they had it smaller but it is what it is and I can't really complain as much as I would like to but I hate when they do this different manufacturers do put this away in a more um, uh, privatized or in a very um, non-intrusive way which I appreciate but tell me if you're listening to this don't put it <laughs> around these parts um, I guess from a pr promotional piece it stands out I guess but it is so this patch line was first originally uh, initially released uh, in the San Diego, um, not San Diego Comic Con uh, the 25th anniversary uh, party initially uh, exclusive for the people that attended that was in um, in the US obviously being Australian I could not go and eventually they did release it in Amazon so you can definitely purchase this on amazon.com you can definitely get the set I got the set so of course that's why I'm reviewing them so highly recommend it so that's where you get it so let's go down to the details you have Buffy's ears which are absolutely phenomenally well stuffed more so than what I would expect to 
be honest. Um, generally speaking, when you have a smaller plush design, it tends to not necessarily be as stuffed as you would like it to be. But in this case, they've really gone out and really made it very, you know, prominent. It's so thick. You can see how thick it is on either side. So they did not do bad on that. Absolutely love it. You have his marking of his inner ear. It does look a bit off for whatever reason. I would have preferred it to be a extra maybe two two or three layers of stitching just to give it a more prominent definition around his ears because it actually looks like it's kind of poor craftsmanship but it's actually needed to give it his um his his darker like not darker but his kind of his ease um E detail, so it kind of looks bad, but I know why it's there. I just would have preferred maybe an extra two layers or three, just to give it more of a prominent effect. So it is what it is. Of course, you have his fringe, which is tends to be the standard with most towers plushies. Unlike the original, which you can definitely check out the reviews, they actually had like a fluffy, you know, little uh, fringe, whereby they tend to, in this case nowadays, to save cost, I would imagine, just get one material stitcher and give a kind of like a. Uh, a subpar rooster-esque sort of fringe going on um, it's not bad it's just it becomes it's becoming a staple it does do good it does it does do what it's meant to do I'm not you know ditching there uh, you know but being that I've collected some uh, originals not originals but seeing that I've collected some of the older generation towers and then use different craftsman shifts I would have preferred that to be brought back in this instance it is what it is I mean I can't complain but um, <sighs> I guess if you've been surrounded yourself with so much of a particular uh, character plush design, you tend to have your favorites on what you like in a particular plush. It's not bad, it's just I would have preferred it. Next you have his eyes, which I thought it was absolutely phenomenal that they did. Of course, like the other ones, everything is pretty much stitched on, which is awesome. I love it. So you can definitely see the eyes and the pupils and whatnot, and everything inside there is stitched. Now some manufacturers, they tend to do like a pressed on design for various parts, maybe the eyes, mouth or whatnot, which is always worrying from a collector's point of view. If you ever want to wash it, I don't recommend you wash these. I would recommend you highly use this for collector's display purpose. That's just my two cents on the whole matter. But yeah, um, from a non-collector point of view, if you want to wash it, you can and not worry about it because it's not sticker based, which is awesome. You have, of course, his nose. I like the other nose. Uh, unlike the other noses, for example, you have like a little white dot there. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure if that's just uh, accidental stitching or if they'll go on for a design for it, but it kind of works in a weird way. It kind of looks like a snot. See how the snot comes out? I don't know. My guess is they went stitching through the snout onto the and exited through the nose. So that's my two cents. But it looks off, but it kind of looks unique in a weird, obscure way. But his nose, unlike the other ones, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, if I don't believe, they're pretty much just one material. This one's extremely well stuffed, so you can definitely point it. But it is tilted on my one kind of to an angle, not 100%, but sure it doesn't deter from him. His mouth is, of course, very smiling and he's stitched on. So I would have preferred that design to be on his ears, for example, to give a more definition, but it is what it is. And that's his mouth stitched on, superb. His snout design is very symmetrical to his overall head design as you can clearly see from the angle superb love it can't go wrong with them and of course you have his whiskey design whiskies <laughs> whiskies whiskies whiskers designed on either side of his cheeks which is pretty much the same technique they use for the actual fringe which is just a material stitched on and you can actually see that through his actual little chest hair that's extruding out there which I thought is adorable same technique um, this I don't as mind I don't mind as much as the fringe simply because it works well and phenomenal. Whereby the fringe I would have preferred. You already heard the story. Um, it is what it is, and of course you can see a little stitching happening there, but it is what it is. The actual head itself is extremely phenomenally well stuffed throughout the head. It's technically throughout the whole body, which is phenomenally well stuffed, which is major props to that um, manufacturer that created uh, this. Of course, you have this back, which is all stitch. It is to be expected. This is something that slightly put me off, but kind of gives it an adorable look to it. You do have, of course, his staple two tails being tails, right? But they look exceptionally smaller compared to the other tails that I actually purchased. You can check out my reviews on the other tails where they tend to be larger in length to give them more of a fluffy effect where if you want to visualize him flying around. But they tend to go for, I don't know if that was intentional, but they, went to t they tend to go for a smaller version of his actual tails. It's weird but adorable in the same way. I can't really put my finger on it, but it's, it's, it's great. I mean, it's, it does what it's meant to do. It's just 
doesn't look extremely well proportioned. I would have liked them to be a lot larger, but at the same time, it works. It's a weird, weird thing. Anyway, so his actual towel designs are exactly the same. You do have various uh, levels of definition extremely stitched across on to give a jaggedy effect. And if you look closely around them, I'll do it slowly, they're not 100% symmetrical throughout, which I thought was awesome. It gives a character, it gives a personality. It's more details like that I absolutely love. All well stitched, um, well stitched of course, and it is well stuffed. It's not as stuffed at his head and his, um, and his, for example, his ears. I wouldn't them to be thicker, but that would have looked off. It would look, would have looked like that. So the fact that they did that amount gives a more of a symmetric, you know, flatness look to it, which I thought is great. There's his butt. If anybody's curious to know where his butt, and there's his uh, other hashtag, which is on the side, which is sorry, the hedgehog. And his hands are exactly the same on either point. So I'm just going to address one hand. So his hand um, does the standard technique, where it's just a palm and it's stitched various lines to give it a finger esque a uh, thing, a finger esque thing. <laughs> They're stitched on to give it a um, finger uh, vision, uh, not a visionary, to give a finger design to, to make it appear like he has fingers. Obviously, if you take the stitches, it's just one hand, but it is what it is. I, I'm not bummed by that. Of course, you have his gloves, um, his little uh, calves there, uh, which are on either side. Nice design. I would have liked him to have, I don't know, like in this, for example, the tag, you have an open hand and you have a closed hand. I would have, I don't know, this is just me. I would have preferred one to be closed and one to be open. That's just me. But having them both open is pretty good. You have your stomach, which is so round and so fluffily and thick and fat. So, <laughs> not really fat exactly. Let's put him on an angle. Tails, do you need to go on a diet? Probably look. See, his belly just pops out. I like that. Of course you have his legs, which is pretty much the same material as th throughout the whole body. Very shiny, very sparkly, very reflective. I absolutely love that. You can definitely see that on the lighting of the camera. You have his shoes, and they're very standard connection types in terms of design. You have white and red. It is what it is, so I'm not really complaining. Something is interesting about this though, if you lift it up, right, you kind of have like a blue effect going on here. Now, I don't know if this is just mine, it doesn't necessarily take away from it, but I think they used a pre-existing Sonic sculpt maybe, and it kind of is the reason why that's blue. Unless he's semi-transforming into Sonic. Tails always wanted to be Sonic, right? <laughs> so that's my theory on it. So you can see there, it's kind of blue. Um, unless you go out of your way to really focus on it, it doesn't take away anything from it. I would have preferred it to be fully yellow, but I don't know what the like what was going on there i don't think it was a mistake to be honest because how do you get blue like that i think it's just they had this specific design mold and then they just have various parts and they just stitch it all together that's my guess and of course you have his feet which is pretty much symmetrical colors in terms of that i would have liked i would have loved some grip lines to indicate um that he's running of course because most plushes are going to be set like that in terms of display i would have preferred that but it is what it is so this overall plush design, of, with of course few exceptions, for example the, the fringe which is purely just me being nitpicky, the fact that his tails looks a bit smaller than usual, is a phenomenal plush. Now what I recommend you guys get it, definitely, look, it's not an overly expensive plush, it's definitely one you can have in your collection, it's definitely one to, I, I guess for the better part, uh, remember the 25th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. You can remember him in any way, shape or form, it's purely up to you. But I guess if you want to be from a plush point of view, get the set. It's the staple, Sonic Tails, Knuckles, and of course, Dr. Robonic. And it's going to look very great in a small display piece. Being the collector I am, I'm going to, of course going to have to buy this and display it and, and review it, of course. But it's definitely a nice piece. Uh, how much did I get it for? I think it was about $20 on Amazon. I got it as a package. I had to pay an additional, I think, $20 bucks, uh, for the, to be shipped to Australia. So they do do worldwide. Definitely pick it up. I think it's definitely worth it. It's definitely a nice pickup. Only really one side of 10, it is definitely common. Um, will be super rare down the track. Who knows? You never know. Sonic the Fighter plushies, you know, tend to not be rare back then, but now it's super rare now. So take your gamble to say the least if you're kind of those people who are those flippers, you know, buy now, so later sort of thing. It's totally up to you. For the more plush, a few hiccups here and there, for example, of course, made mention the fringe, of course, the hashtag, of course, these tails are a tad small, but adorable, I love that, and of course, you have the blue markings on there, but overall, it is a definitely nice set, uh, piece, definitely, when you have them all pretty much um, standing side by side with Sonic and the other characters, so it's definitely a nice piece. And guys, tell me what you thought on this review. Obviously, if you like him, Hayden, let me know your thoughts. I'm more curious to know if you guys have that issue, or is that just exclusive to fire? Maybe I've got a super rare Tails becoming Sonic <laughs> fusion type plush that's going to be super mega rare. Who knows?
You know, guys, take care, speed on, you know the rest. Until next time, peace.